This week, we find out what's up and coming right here at Legoland Florida. And then we'll visit the new world's largest entertainment, McDonald's. We'll also have the latest theme park news and more coming at you right, right now. now. visit MEITravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Florida and California theme parks and attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to UndercoverTourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Fun Spot America is Central Florida's only family-owned theme park. Offering two locations, Orlando and Kissimmee, both theme parks provide safe, clean fun. For more information, visit Fun-Spot.com. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Elisa. So we're here at Legoland Florida Resort. They're celebrating their fifth anniversary. So they're celebrating by giving us five new announcements today. We don't know what they're going to be, but I, it's exciting. I, yeah, I'm excited to hear what they're going to talk about for the future of the resort here. But you may have noticed earlier in the show you've seen a new intro. Not only a new intro, but a new logo and a new name. Attractions Magazine, the show. We, we dropped Orlando, but that doesn't mean we're going to stop covering Orlando. We're still based here in Central Florida, we're going to cover all of this as our main focus, but you may see a few more segments in the future from other places like Six Flags, Disneyland, Universal Hollywood, etc. So I'm excited to expand our our coverage. Definitely, me too. All right, so let's get to news of the queue. Here we are at Heart Lake City at Legoland, Florida. At least I know this is one of your favorite areas. Can we go watch the Friends to the Rescue show? <laughs> we'll go see that in a little bit. First, we got some news to talk about. Now, first up this week, a year-round Walking Dead attraction has been announced for Universal Studios in Hollywood. For the past few years, both Universal Studios Hollywood and Universal Studios Florida have featured haunted mazes and scare zones inspired by the hit television series. But starting this summer, guests will be able to get attacked by walkers all year round. Set in a post-apocalyptic world where the undead walk the earth, the attraction will be a fully immersive walkthrough experience populated with both live actors and animatronic figures. Guests will be following in the footsteps of the TV show's living characters, seeing sets and special effects designed in collaboration with the series creative team. The new Walking Dead attraction will be found on Universal Studios Hollywood's upper lot in roughly the same place that the former House of Horrors Haunted Maze was located. No firm opening date has been announced, but it is expected to be open before Halloween Horror Nights this year. Oh my goodness, this sounds scary. I love I love <laughs> the, the fact that they're bringing in a year-round haunted house yes. again. I, I Years ago, I think 2006, I was at Universal in Hollywood and I got to go through the House of Horrors. Mm -hmm. And I remember uh, the sets were, were great, but there weren't that many uh, characters in there. So mm -hmm. the fact that they're going to be throwing in animatronics as well as live actors is really cool. And fans of Halloween now get year-round haunt. Definitely. I mean, I don't know if I'd be very interested in this, but <laughs> it would be a really cool experience. And like you said, it is neat to have the live actors there as well, not just animatractive, animatronic. So you do feel that immersion. They might be animatractive as well. Animatractive. <laughs> I just made that up. New word. Copyright Elisa Goldman. <laughs> um, now, I love also the fact that they said that this will not um, impede on the number of houses that will be available during Halloween Horror Nights at the park. So mm -hmm. this will be open during the event, but we'll still have more houses there. That's good because too much Walking Dead might be. Not, not good. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Chocoholics rejoice because Universal Orlando has just announced a new chocolate factory will be joining the restaurant lineup at City Walk later this year. The new Toothsome Chocolate Factory and Savory Feast Emporium will be located in the former NBA City and will offer both a full service menu and a retail store full of gourmet sweets that can that guests can watch being made. Mm, Toothsome's will be highly themed as a 19th century steampunk era chocolate factory, complete with towering smokestacks, tanks, and antique piping. Inside the decor and staff will also look the part. The menu will feature a wide variety of dishes from all day brunch crepes and quiches to steaks, seafood, pasta, burgers, sandwiches, salads, and of course, tons of decadent sweets. No opening date has been set for the new restaurant. I wish they would set it because I want to go right now. Oh my gosh, this sounds did you so see, delicious. Did you see some of the photos yes. of like the shakes? It looks really, 
really oh, yummy. Oh my gosh, and the, the facade just looks so incredibly detailed for yeah. a city walk restaurant. Yeah, exactly. I really like the theme. I think it's gonna look really cool. And you know, I'm not a big basketball fan, but I am a big chocolate fan, so. Perfect. Thumbs up for the chocolate. And, and the fact that they have it perfectly located on the walkway between the two parks so that when people walk by, they're gonna have to be like, mm, I'm gonna, gotta go right now. But <laughs> if they're hungry, they can eat a sandwich and then eat the chocolate. I don't know if I'd want to eat anything before the chocolate because I want to have room to Stick have to all the chocolates. Yes. Mm, can't wait. <laughs> now, uh, two new character-inspired food kiosks are coming soon to Disney Springs. Signs on construction walls have revealed Aristo Crepes and BB Wolf Sausage Co. as the names of two new quick service food stands in the Disney Springs marketplace. BB Wolf Sausage Company is inspired by the Three Little Pigs Nemesis and will be located outside of T-Rex. The kiosk will serve up gourmet wieners, through, though whether pork is on the menu, not yet known. <laughs> <laughs> the future site of Aristocrypts is near Rainforest Cafe. Themed to the feline stars of the Aristocats, this stand will serve up French pancakes, presumably in sweet and savory varieties. Disney, Disney hasn't said anything on the existence of these two kiosks officially, but we'll let you know when they're open for business. I, I, these kind of came out of the blue. They just also yeah. showed up on construction walls. I think it's neat to incorporate the characters, especially, you know, not the most popular characters. I mean, Big Bad Wolf isn't, you know, a lot of places to be people don't talk. People don't talk about the Aristocats Cats as no. much as they talk about, like, Big Hero 6 and Frozen exactly. and Zootopia. So that's kind of, it'll be fun to have kind of mixed in with everything else going on at Disney Springs. I, I just, I, I, I know some people are kind of like, like, ooh, Big Bad Wolf, he's got, he's got sausages. That's kind of morbid a little yeah. bit but it's it's perfectly themed and I, I can't wait to try what they have to offer mm -hmm. finally this week digital screens with personalized goodbyes are now active inside walt disney world it's a small world ride the way this works is that the magic band on riders wrists are read by sensors inside the ride which then link to the my disney experience network to retrieve their names and display them on the screens which were installed in our previous refurbishment the enhancement was promoted by disney when they first introduced my magic plus in 2020 13, but has only just now been activated. This is expected to be just the first of a wave of customized experiences coming in the future. A lot of people are kind of like, oh, it's like Big Brother watching me again. You know, <laughs> I've seen a lot of people kind of wary about this type of thing, but I think it's really right. cool. I think it is neat, you know, kind of like the E.T. effect where, you know, it's a little bit more personalized at the end of the ride, and it's fun to be able to see your name up on a big screen. There, there's, a, I think they had, they're still working on the timing, because when I went on it the other day, I, I rode uh, with both mine and uh, Sydney, my wife's wristbands, oh, cool. just to, to see who would get right. on there. They ended up putting us on a screen together, said Banks and Sydney, oh. but it was like well past after I already passed it. I had to turn around and see back. it. So. I'm sure they're getting the kinks out of it. So now, is it the names that are linked to your account, or the nickname that you get put you on You know, there. I'm not sure because it, it was it was just our first name, so it's got to probably be the name that... Link to the account. The I'm link saying. to the account, may, that may even be your nickname. I'm not... Because my nickname is definitely not my name and that would be embarrassing. Well, well you'll, have, you'll, <laughs> yeah. you'll have to take it on there and, and yeah. test it out and I see. I think it's probably just the name linked to the account would yeah. make more sense. Hello, everybody. It's Hidden Mickey of the Week time. Let's go to Frontierland, Splash Mountain. Well, when you're on the ride, in the room with jumping water, on the right side of your boat, a classic Mickey design in a rope is hanging halfway down from the ceiling. It's in the shadows behind a lantern and just past a turtle lying on a geyser. This one can be hard to see in the dark, so you may have to squint for it. But it's there. Ever at Fun Spot America. We've been having fun at Legoland here so far, but now I think it's time we go and see what we came here for. Lego friends? No, 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 I know you really want to go and meet them, but we came here to find out the five new and exciting things that they're going to announce today. All right, let's go. Most X 
excellent spot of the Legoland Beach Retreat. A totally awesome new resort that offers a righteous new way to vacation at the Legoland Florida Resort. And very soon, like mid-2017 soon, you and your parentals can come party with us. I come from the kingdom of Dengago, seeking the help of young ones like yourself to help defeat the great devourer. Early next year, a portal will open in this magic theme park, a portal leading to Lego Ninjago. It is there, well, the riders will be tested on Lego Ninjago the ride, an experience like no other. I made my very own boat. I think I'll call it the SS Shelly. Where did you find all the bricks to do that? The Lego Land Water Park. And you can build your own boat and race it too at a brand new attraction called Build a Boat. And it's now open. It's part of an all new area called Creative Code. Very soon, as in May 26th of this very year, the Lego Exo Knights, led by the brave young Clay Morrington, will do battle multiple times per day in Lego Nexo Knights 4D, Book of Creativity, an all new attraction at the Wells Fargo Theater. I foresee Legoland Night Lights will take place every Saturday and Sunday from June 18th to July 31st of this very year, exclusively at the Legoland Florida Resort. Furthermore, it is agreed that each night will end with a spectacular, spectacular Lego Ninjago Fireworks Show over the waters of Lake Eloise. Brittany, so tell us a little bit about this beach resort that's going to be opening. Absolutely. Legoland Beach Retreat will be opening up mid-2017. We're really excited about it. It's our first time expanding beyond the original footprints of Cypress Gardens. And what it'll offer is 166 units, and that'll be made up of 83 duplexes. Each unit will hold up to five people, so it's a great opportunity to come with a large family and all stay together. The entire thing will have the beach theming, so throw in the sun and the sand and the creativity of Lego, and that'll be the Legoland beach retreat. Where will this retreat be located? It'll be right across the street from where Legoland Florida Resort is, right on Lake Dexter. Okay, so how can guests get to Legoland across the street? Of course, we'll have complimentary shuttles that'll run between the resort and Legoland Florida multiple times a day. All right, to get ready for the Nexo Nights new 4D movie, I'm going to practice a little 4D right now. All right, Christy, so can you tell us a little bit about Ninjago the World and the new ride that's coming? Of course. Today, we just announced Lego Ninjago World. It is a fully expansive, immersive new land at Legoland Florida Resort. And it'll feature brick builds for kids, and there'll be interactive activities so you can train to become a ninja before your final test, Lego Ninjago the Ride. Is the ride going to be any sort of 3D or 4D features? Yes, actually, uh, you will sit and you'll have 3D technology with 4D effects all around you. And the best part is, uh, when you get in the vehicle, which is four people across, there's, there's special sensors in each one of the seats. And when you start going and you're training with Master Wu, you're going to use your hands to throw out fireballs, ice balls, lightning to defeat the bad guys. Wow, that sounds really cool. Is it like a game type thing where there's points involved? There will be scoring involved. The Creative Cove and Build Boat area have already opened at the Legoland Water Park. Actually, Banks got to go there the other day with his daughter Spencer. Here's his look at it. So we're here at the Legoland Florida Water Park for their first ever expansion. Some new areas here. Build a boat, some new picnic tables, etc. I've got Spencer here with me. Hi. Hi, she says hi. You ready to play? You want to play in some water here? Uh. Okay, let's get going. All right, so here we are, Legoland Water Park. It's now open for the 2016 season. What new things can guests experience when they come here? Well, new for 2016 at the Legoland Water Park is Creative Cove featuring Build-A-Boat, which is right behind us. It is a brand new attraction where kids can build their own Lego boats and challenge their friends and family to race them down the rushing river. It's fantastic. Uh, yeah, I, just, I built a boat earlier, and uh, I can't wait to try this one out. Now, for those of us, you know, we're connected online a lot. There are easier ways for us to get online, I'm hearing, right? 
Yes, new for 2016 as well, we have complimentary Wi-Fi for all guests entering the park. Oh, I love that. And then there's expanded food offerings as well, right? Yes, right now we have a brand new ice cream stand and another attraction as well. We've refurbed our imagination station in the water park, so that's all a part of Creative Co. Okay, so I've been putting together my boat here at the uh, Build-A-Boat area, and I put together something special because I want to give you guys a look at a, uh, the view of the action. So, here's one with the GoPro rig on it. Oh, Spencer, perfect. Can I, can I see that? That is the perfect piece for the front. All right, good job, Spencer. You ready to go put it down? Let's do it. Spencer, how'd you like your first time here at Legoland Water Park? You loved it? You want to keep playing? Okay, we're going to go keep playing. Now, Legoland Water Park is open for the 2016 season here at Legoland Florida. The days may fluctuate, so check florida.legoland.com for the days that the water park is open. All right, you ready to go play in the pool behind us? Okay, let's go. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. The new world's largest entertainment McDonald's is now open on International Drive. That's right, and there's some really great improvements as well. We sent our reporter Julie to scope it out and tell us what to get next time we go. Take a look. I'm getting the pizza. Pizza! Get your pizza here! So if you've been to the world's largest entertainment McDonald's before, they tore it down, they started over. This is the new world's largest entertainment McDonald's. So let's head on in and see what it's all about. job was at a McDonald's, but nowadays I'd rather eat here. So this is the self-service kiosk here and one of the newest things that they're going to have at all the McDonald's is the create a taste. So I'm going to be trying this myself. Hot off the grill. Okay. Sirloin. Horse bacon. Oh, so many options. Okay. Cheddar. Pepper jack. Top it off. Yes, I want a grilled tomato. Just add all the things. So many options. Sriracha. Add two parts. Now I can go in the playground while I wait. I think I went the safe route. It's all stairs so far. It's like I'm earning my burger. So we're here in the New 
arcade area. The games are some of the newer app-based games and a lot of old favorites too. They range in price from 50 cents to $2. They're all pretty much redemption based, so there's lots of really cool prizes that you can get. And as you can see, there are so many to choose from. So this is a great thing. If you sit down and you don't really know the people next to you, or you just want some quiet time away from the rest of the family, you've got this great little share board. You can make like just a little divider. So you have your privacy while you eat. I just got my loaded up double sirloin burger with bacon, two kinds of cheese, and everything you can imagine on it. Plus fries and a drink for 12 and a quarter. They individually make your create a taste fries in this cute little basket and it's served like that. So now we're going to enjoy it. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> that is really good. <laughs> this location is now open on the corner of Sand Lake and International Drive. So come on out and create your taste. And what kind of burger would you make? Sometimes at the park, special things happen at a moment's notice, such as celebrity sightings. Normally, when a celebrity is visiting the park, you shouldn't bother them. After all, they're just trying to enjoy the park like you are. But on some rare occasions, they may be there just to meet fans. If this is the case, you probably won't have to ask. They'll most likely already be sworn by fans anyway. You never know where they may show up. Mario Lopez was spotted in last weekend's Mardi Gras parade at Universal. And even though we aren't celebrities, if you ever see me or one of our reporters in or around the parks, please don't be afraid to say hi. You never know when you might see a friend in the parks. It's a small world after all. Attractions Magazine is your guide to the world's greatest theme parks and attractions. Get the best information, photos, travel tips, rumors, interviews, and reviews from Attractions Magazine. Whether it's new, unique, big or small, or your theme park favorites, we cover it all in Attractions Magazine. Each issue features Central Florida's thrills and excitement delivered directly to your doorstep. Subscribe today at attractionsmagazine.com. So we're here at Legoland Florida between Cosasaurus and Lego City. And you may notice behind us, this is the future location of Ninjago the Ride that was just announced earlier in the episode. But right now, let's talk about this week's calendar. Yeah, the Food and Wine Festival at Bush Gardens continues with a performance by George Thorogood and the Destroyers on Saturday and Mercy Me on Sunday. Mardi Gras at Universal Orlando also continues this weekend with Shawn Mendes on Saturday and Three Doors Down on Sunday. The Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot features performances by the Little River Band tomorrow through Sunday. And finally this week, the Mighty St. Patrick's Festival at Raglan Road Irish Pub and Restaurant in Disney Springs concludes tonight. Don't forget to subscribe to our calendar at attractionsmagazine.com to stay up to date on these events and this week's shout out goes to Mino Bereveld and Barbara from Holland. So great to meet y'all at the TTC earlier last week. And now we want to thank MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for cruises, Disney World, Universal, and all your other vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. And much thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit UndercoverTourist.com. And thanks to Fun Spot America, Central Florida's only family-owned theme park. They provide safe, clean fun in Orlando and Kissimmee. Visit Fun-Spot.com for tickets and more information. Remember, you can watch a brand new episode of the show each week on YouTube, Bright House, Cable TV Channel 999 iTunes and through the O-Town app on Roku and Amazon Fire. Our new spring issue is now for sale through our website and in our app. Here's a look at the cover. Inside you'll find a behind the scenes story about how attractions are made and a final goodbye to Wet n Wild which closes at the end of this year and much more. We also want to tell you about a deal we have with Theme Park Connection. If you spend $100 with them you'll get a free copy of the magazine and if you spend $250 you'll get a free one year subscription to our magazine. So here we are in the Miniland USA section of Legoland Florida. You may notice behind me, recently they added the Orlando Eye to the Florida section. And in the future, they're going to be updating the Daytona International Speedway to reflect the changes that recently were made there. Very nice. So they made a lot of announcements today. A lot. Five announcements in 
It's the one of them's already open at the water park. We saw me and Spencer there earlier. Uh, the the hotel that looks awesome. The beach resort. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool, and I love that they're almost like their own little villas. You know, it's very seems like right. it's gonna be really private. Right, right, and the fact that it's uh, the first time they're expanding outside of the Cypress Gardens footprints yeah. and just the expansion and then the new Ninjago ride. Did you? I, I you were at IAPA. Did you get to try out the Ninjago test thing that they had there? No, I saw it. See, that's what I was gonna say. I'm excited for the Ninjago ride. I've never been on a ride where I can just use my hands, and the fact that it is, you know, they are able to keep score. Like that's really cool. We'll have to test it out. And then the night lights, of course, this this year, and then the new 40 shows. Good. There's a lot to do in 2016 at Legoland Florida with the fifth anniversary, and then of course the new things next year. So. Follow our blog for all the updates for that. Right. Speaking of following us, yes, oh, yes. we're going to show you guys one more time our new logo. Yes, we, we mentioned the show logo at the top of the episode, but this is our new logo for the magazine, as well as our icon that you can find on all our social media channels. I love the updates. I love the roller coaster design to it. It's, it's been months coming up with this, and I'm happy to finally get it out there to everyone. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week. And until then, be sure to visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun.